in this chapter let's have a uh, basic understanding of uh, the world of predictive analytics what uh, we mean by this uh, predictive analytics and uh, what is this buzzword all about we have been observing that in the past uh, few years this term has become quite uh, more familiar in uh, in the business circles so just having an insight of what it is and where it is going to take us through what kind of improvements can uh, we make by sticking to predictive analytics these are some of the things i would like to touch upon as an introduction chapter first of all the word itself is saying we are doing some kind of predictions so my ability to predict is what is a part of predictive analytics so prediction decision taking they all go as a part of predictive analytics so i use a lot of historical data to make predictions about the future but try to increase in the certainty of the result it's not a blind forecast about the future trying to bring about some kind of certainty in the prediction so uh, whatever we were uh, doing earlier is using some kind of uh, business intelligence tools or uh, mis kind of tools uh, which were developed by various technologies where the focus was purely a backward uh, backward looking focus and uh, people used to call that as analytics it was a completely a backward looking focus just look at the past data do some kind of summarizations or calculations on the past data and that is what we used to call it as analytics but it tells us more about what was happening and gives us an insight on why it has happened but the prediction is more about what will happen in future or what should happen in future that is what is the world of predictive analytics data crunching data analysis or calculations or uh, identifying patterns in the past data that is entirely in the hindsight which should uh, let us know why it has happened which is the insight and using that if i can give some kind of uh, actions for the future that is what we call as predictive analytics so i am using the past behavior based on that past behavior trying to derive some kind of a pattern for the future and using it uh, more from a forward looking approach that is how the predictive analytics differs from a uh, business intelligence or uh, ma management information systems which are used typically for taking decisions but predictive analytics is directly giving me some kind of numbers for the future though there are various approaches for uh, doing predictive analytics here our focus is on two aspects one is the regression based aspect both logistic as well as linear linear regression is helping us in terms of predicting what would be the value in future or what would be the value uh, output if i take these as a inputs so basically you are saying if uh, x is dependent on a b c frame some kind of relationship between x with a b c so that if i know a b c i should be able to predict x that is what is the typical linear regression model and we will have some examples looking at those regression models and at the same time we have a logistic regression which talks about the decision variable the the output variable being a decision should i give a loan to this person or not this is a decision variable or should uh, uh, should uh, will the stock price go up or not 
I'll take three, four inputs, ten inputs, whatever. And based on this inputs, if I am able to uh, come out with the decisions of yes or no, where there are binary outcomes, we talk about logistic regression. We'll also use some kind of models based on logistic regression. And uh, if I am using more of time-related data, like forecasting for the future based on the historical data, identifying the the dependency with, with the previous values or seeing if uh, some kind of averaging of the previous values have to be done based on that forecasting for the future based on the historical numbers. That is what we typically call as time series forecasting mechanism. So we'll have, uh, we'll have uh, a look at uh, some of the models. The most common one being ARIMA, autoregressive integrated moving average model so we'll have a look at that uh, arima model also to typically uh, use it in the predictive analytics space now the prime success factor when it comes to the uh, implementation of uh, predictive analytics in an organization is the availability of the data the more the data i am able to collect the more the better it is and if that data is collected from wide variety of uh, samples or wide variety of sources, it adds more and more to the credibility of the analysis. And what we require uh, for making a good predictive analytics model is just not a statistical expertise, but at the same time we need to understand someone who needs to understand the business significance of creating a model. So, along with the statistics and number crunching operations, we need someone who can really work in terms of understanding the business objective and based on the business objective, create analytical models. So, which means uh, this right from the top, right from the senior management, there should be a, a buy-in and the culture uh, relating to the data-based analysis is something that will drive the success of predictive analytics. So today, most of the companies are driven, are getting driven towards the data-driven management uh, approach, which is a good sign, and that is how the predictive analytics is actually uh, becoming a buzzword in the today's world. Now, before we start off with our analytics uh, process, all I want to summarize is, it is a potent weapon in your toolbox. Today, with lots and lots of competition going up, with lots and lots of commoditization happening in our products, understanding predictive analytics and applying various analytical uh, models to the business decisions will really be a differentiator. And for that, understanding of the various tools and techniques and uh, analytical capabilities will create a niche expertise for you which will definitely uh, take you to a, a next level in your careers. With that as a base, we'll start off with our uh, analysis uh, process, trying to understand uh, the various uh, concepts as well as tools which drive the world of predictive analytics. Alright, so let's get uh, started with our uh, tools and uh, models uh, of predictive analytics so that uh, we can so that we can take a data set and we should be able to do some kind of predictions based on the data set.